And lastly, children, we bring to the screen once again that popular broadcaster and favourite child impersonator, Harry Hemsley. A little mouse lives in a hole of... Be quiet, Winnie, be quiet. Can't you see I'm studying? Hello, what's that book you're reading? Oh, just a uh, book on conjuring, or power tricks, rather. Great yes. Scott, you're not going in for conjuring, are you? No, no, I'm just a little trick just to amuse Winnie, that's all. Come a little nearer, Winnie. Shall I be in the way? No, 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 make yourself at home. Now, Winnie, I'm going to perform a little trick with an empty glass, a saucer half full of water, and a sixpence. Would you like to see it? Oh, yes, please. You're going to turn the glass into a rabbit. No, dear, if I did that, that'd be a miracle. Well, do a miracle, Daddy. Go on, do a miracle. No, dear, I can't do miracles. All I can do is a trick. Well, will there be a rabbit in the trick? No, dear, no rabbit. Oh, but I want a rabbit. All conjurers have rabbits. But I'm not a conjurer. And I haven't a rabbit. Well, conjurers don't have to have rabbits. They come from nowhere. All the conjurer has to do is to say, I want a rabbit. And a rabbit's in his pocket. Can't you be a conjurer, Daddy? No, dear. Besides, the little trick I'm about to perform doesn't need a rabbit. Well, do a trick where you have to have a rabbit. Now, Winnie, here's an empty glass. There's a rabbit inside it. There's nothing inside it. Can't you see there's nothing inside it? Yes, I can see there's nothing inside it. But if I look long enough, a rabbit will come inside. Oh, no, it won't. Now, here's a saucer. I will fill it half full of water. Rabbits don't drink water. I know they don't, but since there'll be no rabbits, I'm going to make use of this saucer of water. And, uh, oh, lend me a sixpence, old man. Thanks. And a sixpence. You can buy a rabbit for sixpence, a baby one. I don't want a rabbit. Well, I do. Oh, be quiet. Now I'll place this sixpence in the saucer, and I want you to pick it out without getting your fingers wet. You think you can do that? No, I couldn't. No, without getting my fingers wet, but a rabbit could. A rabbit hasn't any fingers. You could just claw it out. I want you to pick it out. And can I keep it? Yes, if you can pick it out without getting your fingers wet. Well, I can't. Of course you can't. Anyhow, I'll show you how it can be done. Now watch. I hear a piece of cheese. Oh, I know what you're going to do. You're going to turn the sauce into a lot of mice. Nothing of the sort. There are no mice in the tree. No rabbits. No and no rabbits. Now I place this piece of cheese in the centre of the saucer. Then I stick a match into the cheese in an upright position and set light to it. Then I place the glass over it quickly, pushing the sixpence to one side. Now look what's happening. Ooh, ooh, the water is running into the glass. <laughs> now pick up the sixpence. Right. Your fingers wet? No. Here, you're not Winnie. I know I'm not. <laughs> Winnie's only an imaginary child. <laughs> yes, of course. But someone had to pick it up. Oh, I know that, yes. And what's more, it's my sixpence. Yes, yes, well, you're quite right. Uh, as a matter of fact, Winnie's uh, just one of my child impersonations. And to convince you there's no child in the studio, I'm going to tell you a little story about a little boy. Now, this little boy's mother one day presented him with two little baby sisters. Needless to say, they were twins. And father was as proud as punch. So he told his little son to inform his teacher. In all probability, she'd give him a day's holiday. Well, the kiddie came home jubilant. It worked, Dad, it worked, it worked. I'll have a day's holiday. Splendid. Do you tell your teacher you had two little baby sisters? No. No, I only told her I had one. One? But you have two. I know that. I'm saving the other one to next week. <laughs> 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 <laughs>